okay for the backside feeble grind. Uh, the foot positioning is pretty critical. Um, they can make or break the trick. So it's been my experience, I like to have my front foot like this, behind the bolt, maybe by about an inch. Uh, on the inside of the rail, the toe side rail, my heel hanging over, and my back foot, I like to have flush right to the edge and the outer edge right to the end of the tail, something like this. And the reason I like to have my front foot like this back a little bit and off to the side a little bit is coming out of this trick it's really helpful if you can be kind of light and quick on your front foot so if you have your foot closer to the center of the board the board turns quicker when you come out and you won't clip your your wheel on the curb when you try to turn out okay so that's about the size of it something like this okay so for this trick to work you want to come at about a 45 degree angle and the idea is you want to slap onto the curb and not have to re um, adjust your direction. So you want to come in at an angle that's already going to allow you to go toe side or back side at minimal effort. So that's why I suggest a 45 degree angle. And what you're trying to do is you try to lift up your front wheels and jut your board forward simultaneously. And you're not trying to get your whole board on top like this, but you're trying to get it right here on your heel side wheel on the rear. That's what you're trying to get pinched. And your front foot just holds it lightly and all the pressure of this trick is coming on your back foot on the heel that's when that's what's going to keep it like this and you want to be sure you have enough room on the opposite side of the curve that your wheel doesn't scrub out because when you're first learning this a lot of times what can happen is you'll get this so if you can get it to where you have room for the front side toe side wheel and you can lock on the heel side and the rear you'll glide and when you're grinding i like to look right here at my back truck right at the bolts and when I'm ready to come out, I keep the pressure on the heel and swing my shoulders backside. And you'll come right out. But you have to do it quick. And before you even stop or even think you're going to stop, start your turn. It's almost, like, it's almost like slap into it, grind, and as soon as you start to grind, turn out. And by the time your body reacts, you'll, all, you'll already have ground a little bit. And as you get comfortable with it, you'll be able to sit a little bit longer and hold it. But that's the key to it, is weight on the back foot and the heel and your front foot just kind of hanging there, gliding along. And again, I like my toes off in the middle of the board more or less to help make the board turn out easier. And if you have it too much on the front, it makes the front of the board really heavy. You'll clip the wheels and the board will stay there and you'll just fly off and eat it. So that's something else that's kind of helpful to keep in mind with this trick. If you're going up and slapping into it and you're getting stopped, the board just stops and you go flying forward or over. What you want to be aware of is you want to find a curb that when you get in your pinch like this, that's how you're trying to grind. See, this, this wheel isn't touching the ground. So if you're on a low curb, when you slap in and you get into your pinch, your wheel is going to be dragging on the ground and it's going to throw you off. So you need to find a curb that when you get into your pinch on your feeble grind that your toe side wheel on the rear truck is not hitting the ground and if it is hitting the ground it's not going to work or if it does work it's going to be really difficult so that's something to keep in mind if you slap into it and you're confident that your angle is right your timing is good and everything you're doing seems to be right but you're stopping check out the curb height and if this wheel is hitting the ground that's the problem so find something a little bit taller